Story begins 1883. I know, it seems really early for the programming language. The algorithm for the analytical engine was developed, created by Ada Lovelins. She studied mathematics, which was atypical for women of the period. Her algorithm was used to compute Bernoulli numbers for Charles Babbage, who originated the concept for the digital computer and his analytical engine. This algorithm is widely considered to be the first computer programming language. Let's fast forward 66 years to 1949. The low-level language known as assembly was created. Now assembly has a strong relationship between the instruction within the language and machine code instructions. Was first widely implemented in electronic, a delay storage automatic calculator, also known as EDSAC, which was constructed by the Maurice Wilkes at the University of Cambridge. The calculator was to use to solve differential equations and discovered as 79-digit prime numbers, the largest known at the time. 1952 comes around with the autocode. Autocode wasn't actually a singular programming language, but a term used to describe family of early computer programming languages. The first of which was developed at the University of Manchester by Alec Glenny for the Manchester Mark I. It is also believed to be the first programming language to run through a compile. Five years later, in 1957, the programming language Fortran emerged, developed by the IBM and used mainly for the complicated mathematical calculation. Fortran actually stands for Formula Translation. Fun fact, Fortran is used in programs that benchmark the world's fastest supercomputers. Fortran is still used widely today. Just one year later, in 1958, Algon was created. Algon, meaning algorithmic language, was a basis for the languages like Pascal, C, C++ and Java. Most modern languages have syntax inspired from Algon and is considered to be among the most influential early programming languages, introducing code blocks with beginning and end delimiters. Algon was also the first language to implement nested function definitions with lexical scoping. Another one year later, we see COBOL, originally developed by Dr. Grace Murray Hopper and was designed to run on all brains of computers. COBOL meaning common business-oriented language is very common to find in ATMs, telephone system, and general business finance and administrative system. Fun fact, lots of COBOL were used in the Terminator's vision display. COBOL is still used throughout mainframe computers on legacy applications. Yet, much of this current COBOL development primarily is maintenance for these old applications. 1959, BC Lisp, developed at MIT, Lisp meaning least processing language, is considered to be the second oldest high-level programming language after Fortran. As the name implies, linked list are key data structure within list and Lisp source code is made up of lists. It also became the popular programming for the study of artificial intelligence during the period. 1964, the programming language BASIC was produced by John Khomeini and Thomas Kurtz at Dartmouth College. As the name implies, BASIC was designed around students who didn't have a strong background in mathematics, so that students would still be able to effectively use computers. A BASIC stands for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Later, in 1975, Bill Gates and Paul Allen would alter BASIC, which would become one of the Microsoft's first products. 1970, named after the famous French mathematician and philosopher Blaise Pascal. The programming language Pascal was developed by Nicolas Werf. Compared to prior languages, Pascal was relatively easy to learn and was favored when teaching computer programming during the time. It was an official language designed to encourage good programming style and structure. And for all the students out there, that means college you code. Early software development 1972 rolls around and we see Smalltalk. First created by Alan Kay, Adele Goldberg and then in glass at Xerox. Its main innovation was allowing programmers to change code on the fly and its primary use was for education purposes. It would come to inspire several features found in more modern programming languages like Python. In 2017, the Smalltalk was the second most loved programming language on the Stack Overflow developer survey. Also in 1972, at Bell's lab, a little language simply known as C was developed by Dennis Ritchie. Despite prior languages being considered high-level programming languages, C is believed to be the truly first high-level programming language. And by high-level, we mean it is closer to human language instead of machine code.
first developed so that Unix could run on different types of computers, C had had some influence on many future languages. During the 1980s, C began to gain traction and is still among the most popular programming languages used and it's commonly taught throughout computer science higher level education. Now you thought 1972 is over, but not quite yet. Also during this year, we see the emergence of the ever so faithful SQL, also known as SQL, originally developed by Donald Chamberlain and Raymond Boyce at the IBM. SQL, an acronym for Structure Query Language. SQL is a programming language designed around querying a database, and is still widely used in database management today. Now, if you've had to take a linear algebra course recently, you'll be familiar with MATLAB. Created in 1978 by Cliff Moller, MATLAB stands for Matrix Laboratory. It is amongst the best programming languages for advanced mathematical computation and is indispensable in mathematical research. Let's take a scroll over to 1983, where the first C Objective-C used. Created by Brad Cox and Tom Lau, Objective-C combined Smalltalk style with C programming language, and until the recent development of Swift in 2014, Objective-C was the main programming language for Apple's macOS and iOS. In 1983, we see another improvement on the C programming language with C++. Developed by Bjorn Strauss at Bell Labs, C++ is also known as C with classes and was designed with system programming in mind, featuring more high-level features in its currently one of the most widely used programming languages and is used in popular high-performance software. New versions of C++ are still being released roughly every three years, with C++ 20 being the newest release. 1987, the programming language Perl makes an appearance. Developed by Larry Wald as a scripting language for text editing, Oddly enough, Perl has no official acronym. Perl borrows features from C, Basic and Lisp and is commonly used in Linux system administration, web development and network programming. It's been a long road, my friends, but now we have reached the 1990s. In 1990, named after an American mathematician Haskell Brooks Curry, the programming language Haskell was created. It is mainly a functional programming language and is used mainly for intense number crunching. Haskell innovated with type classes and utilized type inference and lazy evaluation. One year later, the famous programming language Python makes an appearance, designed by Guido von Rasson. Python is much easier to read and requires overall less lines of code compared to previous programming languages. Now I bet you don't know, Python is named after the comedy group Monty Python and is notorious for making programmers feel lazy because it offers so much utility and almost uncontested code readability. It is also a favorite language for data scientist purposes. Also in 1991 we see the emergence of Visual Basic, developed by Microsoft. Visual Basic key feature allows users to drag and drop chunks of code in graphical user interface. It was designed to be extremely easy to learn and in 2016 Visual Basic 6.0 got the Technical Impact Award at the 19th Annual DICE Awards. Now we've come to 1993 and the programming language R is created at the University of Auckland, New Zealand. Raka Haka and Robert Gentleman developed R and R is mostly used among statisticians and data scientists for data analysis and development of the statistical software. And as of October 2022, R runs 16th in terms of the most popular programming languages. Java programming language was created in 1995 by Sun Microsystems. Originally called OAG, Java is commonly taught for object-oriented design as well as having a few implementation dependencies. Java was originally intended for cable boxes, but was later improved upon for use on the World Wide Web. Java was designed around the phrase, write once, run anywhere. Java application can run on any JVM, and JVM means Java Virtual Machine, completely independent on the underlying computer architecture. Fun fact, more than 3 billion devices currently run Java, and it lasts already for a few years. 
Also in 1995, PHP original standing for personal homepage and the target language for the many memes on the programmer humor subreddit. PHP was developed by Rasmus Ludorf and was mostly used in the web development, for example the famous blog creation site WordPress is written in PHP. Also Facebook or Slack uses PHP, they say that 75% of all available websites are written with PHP. Next, in the 1995, Ruby is created by Yukishiro Matsumoto. Ruby is like Matsumoto's perfect child, because he combines all his favorite aspects from various other programming languages like Perl, Smalltalk, Basic and Lisp. Like PHP, Ruby is most commonly found in web development software stacks. Yep, Ruby runs slower compared to other web development languages. Ruby also features dynamic typing and garbage collection. Lastly, in our 1995 programming language montage, JavaScript comes on the table. Developed in the mere 10 days by Branch H, JavaScript focuses on the enhancing web browser interactions. JavaScript is often just in time compiled and is considered a core technology along HTML and CSS for the free big W use. Now we go in a bit of relaxation period for 5 years until we hit 2000s with the development of C Sharp. Created by Microsoft as a part of the .NET initiative, C Sharp was designed to combine the computational ability of C++ with the simplicity of the Microsoft's previous Visual Basic. C Sharp is comparable to Java and widely used for many Microsoft products and applications. C Sharp consists of strong typing lexical scope, is object oriented among other features. Now 2003 rolls around and we have Scala, created by Martin Tarski to combine mathematical functional programming with object oriented programming. Scala was focused around being concise to be improved upon many criticisms of the object oriented language Java. Also in 2003 a language GUI was created as an improvement of Java, created by James Tretchin. Ruby is favored by some developers because of its relatively simplicity when it comes to learning. Now we go down to our three last languages. In 2009 we see the emergence of Go, also known as Golang. Developed by the tech giant Google, Go was designed to help fix problems that are common in Google's main software system or languages like Java and C++. In terms of syntax, Go is similar to C, but with the addition of memory safety, garbage collection, as well as some other useful features. Golang is amongst the highest paid recent technical skills. In 2014, Corporation Apple developed the programming language Swift as a replacement for pretty much every other language used previously throughout Apple, in typical Apple fashion such as C, C++ and Objective-C. Swift is known for its ease of use and small room for error. Swift is widely applicable for both desktop and mobile applications. Lastly, in 2016, the first version of Kotlin was released by JetBrains company. Kotlin is a statically typed programming language that runs on Java Virtual Machine and also can be compiled to JavaScript source code. You can make web and mobile applications using Kotlin. And it was a brief history of programming languages. See you soon, future programmers.